Okay, this is my third time filming this video. I'm ready to get it over with. Ignore the Christmas tree in the background. Ooh. Ding. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Bredonda Ray, and Happy New Year. Oh, my gosh. It's 2017, and we're alive. We made it. I'm happy, it's a new year, and that means it's time for a new me. I don't know, I don't like saying that, new year, new me crap. I'm just gonna continue to upload videos on my YouTube channel. With that being said, thank you so much to my 50 subscribers. I only been on here for two months, and I've got 50 subscribers. I'm so happy, thank you so much. That means a lot that you guys enjoy watching my videos because I love doing this and I really see myself making some kind of positive change or being a positive influence on you guys so thank you so much for subscribing in this video if you could not tell already by the title I mean it's down there what I don't know where anything is I'm sure you could already see that it's gonna be about my testimony and how I became closer to God and a better Christian because that's something that's important to me in my life it's um, my religion yeah I really want to share this with you guys because it's something that changed my life and maybe you guys can relate I don't know but Hopefully this story isn't going to be all over the place because this is my third time recording this. Second time today. I've recorded this in the past um, a couple of weeks ago and it was just all over the place. So I tried again like a few minutes ago and I was still kind of a mess but we're going to do this better this time. Yeah. I'm going to start by saying this. I was always a Christian like growing up my mom she raised me and my sisters up in a you know christian based church christian home so it was never at the point where i stopped believing in god it was never like that but it was to the point to where i you know strayed away i'm going to talk about how i strayed away from god and how i was living a promiscuous lifestyle and how I decided to change my ways. So I'm gonna start when I moved out my mom's house. I moved out of my mom's house when I was 20. I moved out of my mom's house, moved in with my aunt because I was waiting for a place to stay to open up um, you know, my first real apartment. And then I moved in with my friend Heaven. We moved together into a house and then Things were good there. We weren't bad. We were doing the basic 21-year-old things. I was 21 when I finally moved in my first place. And um, we were doing the basic 21-year-old things, you know, partying and drinking, but it wasn't like out of control. Yeah, everything was good. And then after that, I moved into my first place to get like... Are you kidding me? My alarm, I swear, goes off for no freaking reason, and you picked the perfect time to go off. I'll be back when that thing is done. Okay, I'm back. That alarm is so annoying. Or what's that? Oh, yes. I moved into my own place. Things were good there. I didn't really do much, and... I was just like living my life, hanging out with my cousins. A few friends of mine would come over, but I didn't really do anything. I mean, I was a goody goody. I didn't really go out. I didn't go to clubs. I've never even, I've only ever been to a club once. Till this day, 25 years old, only been to a club maybe once. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't really do anything. But then after living, okay, so I'm living. Get myself together. Get it together, girl. Get it together. Okay. So I'm living on my own, and I start dating this guy who I went to school with, and this was like my first serious boyfriend, who was my best friend at the time, my best friend's uh, brother, who I'm still really good friends with. I love her. She's awesome. 
I was just like really skeptical of the situation because of the fact that he was my best friend's brother. You know, things were okay in the beginning of us dating. You know, I started to slowly fall for this guy and you know we started having a connection and then other things were off about this relationship too he didn't believe in god i mean he was raised in a christian based family like me but he lost his way and i thought maybe i could change him and whatnot and in the long run he ended up changing me i was dating him for a good year and during that time, I started straying away from God. I smoked weed a little bit. I gave him my virginity, which is something I said that I was going to save until marriage, you know. I started doing things that I never imagined for myself. And so, things just kind of like went downhill after that. So, we ended up breaking up. He cheated on me and he left me for another woman, which is true, I'm not making this up. She even told me this is verified and everything. I was devastated. Like, I was in the worst place possible to the point to where I was just depressed in my head. I kept, like, saying things like, if he doesn't want me, nobody's going to want me. I, I might as well just kill myself. And that's not good. That's not God-like. That's not Christian-like. That's just not good all in all. Whenever I was in the process of trying to get over him I decided okay what better way to get over somebody than to get under somebody that's like the stupidest thing to think you shouldn't think that because that is not the way to get over someone you have to let yourself go through it it's not gonna work trust me I thought it was and it didn't I ended up having sex with another guy and then another guy and then another guy and it started kind of spiraling out of control. That was not me. That was not who I am. I was just sleeping with guys, even guys that I didn't even like. And that's not really, that's not good. That's not the way, you know? And then I got involved with this guy who was married and I didn't know he was married until after I slept with him. And that's just bad all in all too, you know? And it got to the point to where I thought I was going to be, I could have potentially been raped by this guy because he almost took advantage of me. And I don't know, by the grace of God, he got out of my apartment and... At that point, that was like a wake-up call. Like, Brie, what are you doing? And then, I just started doing me for a little bit. And then Rome comes out of nowhere. And he started talking to me. And I invited him to my birthday party with my friends at the bowling alley. And then... He just kind of swept me off my feet and he wanted to date me so he took me on a date and he, it was like something I haven't even experienced ever. And so we started dating and he was like, Bree, you want to go to church with me? Because he goes to church every Sunday and when we first started dating he was going to church and I wasn't going with him because I wasn't going to church then. And he finally was like, you should come to church with me. You really like it. And I was like, uh, no, I don't want to go. Um, I'm not ready to go yet. I mean, I'm good with God. I don't need to go to church to prove that I know God and know Jesus, blah, 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 all that good stuff. He was just like, okay, well, whenever you're ready, I would really love for you to come. And finally, I was just like, Okay, well, I'll come because, you know, I, I want to spend time with you and I don't want to spend any more time apart than I did already. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to come with you. And then, I fell in love with the pastor and his wife and I got baptized because I wanted to start anew. I just wanted to be better with God and I wanted to repent. It was the best thing that I could have done for me because I feel like I'm in a much better place than I've ever been in my life. It's all because of God. It's all because God sent me Rome. It was good because I needed to be saved. And if he hadn't, there's no telling where I'll be right now, 
you know, if God hadn't sent me Rome. I could be in a worse place. Like, I could have been raped that night. I could be sleeping with some loser and catching something or getting pregnant. I want to encourage you all, if you believe in God, if you believe in the higher power to get closer and believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins because he did. Even if you don't believe in a higher power, I encourage you just to just to live a better lifestyle because doing these things that can't be good for you, you know, it's not, it's not, and it's not worth it in the end to be hurt or sick or like killed by doing something you thought was a good idea, you know, and it wasn't. Hey guys, sorry for the background noise. I'm editing in Starbucks, but all I was trying to say was make better choices that won't end up hurting you in the long run. So, with that being said, I'm glad to be a Christian and I'm proud to be the person I am today. I'm proud and I'm glad that I went through the things I went through to be where I am today. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed my little story time testimony type deal and I hope that this inspired you and maybe helped you in some kind of way. And with that being said, click there to subscribe to my channel. Click there to watch my last video and give it a big thumbs up because I am um, trying. I don't know. Just give it a big thumbs up. Okay? Much love. Bye.